Damn your whack, Philip. The Witch is directed by Robert Eggers and stars Ralph Innocent and Katie Dickey. And it came out a few months ago, actually, but it actually got re-released in 666 theaters. And one being my local indie theater, so I, did, I, I just had to see this. Because if you didn't know, back in February, I saw Deadpool for the third time over this one. And I kind of regretted it, just because I saw the movie twice prior. But I saw this movie, and... It was great. So the acting from nearly everybody, it, they just completely picked the best actors and actresses that they could have in this film. They all bring their best performance. And this movie really is all practical effects. Like, I mean, the goats that are the main thing in the story, they're not CGI. They are real goats. I mean, you don't see that often. I know it sounds weird, but you just don't see that very often. Which is actually really sick. It's just like people are puking up their own organs and this movie is something special like it is gross I'm very happy that this actually won an award for best director at the Sundance Film Festival because I mean it's one thing to be like an official selection at the Sundance Film Festival but it takes a lot to actually win and best director is actually a very big award it pretty much gets started right off the bat I mean I if you can say get started, I mean it starts to kind of build up and little scary things are put in, which is actually a great thing because it doesn't just let it all out. It kind of gives little sneak peeks of what the audience is in for. There are many scenes in this movie that just made my mouth drop. They were just gross. I mean, the fact that this movie isn't banned in certain countries just for some of the things that it does is amazing to me. I can see why a lot of people didn't like this movie. It's not like a modern Blumhouse cheap scare horror. I don't even think there's one jump scare in this. It's not necessarily what audiences want nowadays. Like The Forest, what audience want. The Boy, what audience audiences want. I mean, it's just what people have become to love, and I don't see why. To keep this one short, The Witch is easily the best horror film I've seen in years. It is a slow-building, taut thriller that, I mean, the cinematography will blow your mind. It all comes down to this ending that I didn't really think was going to work. It is seriously the, one of the most chilling horror endings I've seen in a long time. And if I tell you the ending, just say what the ending actually is, you'll think, oh, that's dumb. But they actually execute the ending so perfectly that it is so petrifying. Obviously, it is a bit slow building, and the trailers do give away most of the scary parts, but... I mean, you just can't deny that this movie is just great. I just didn't really like some of the casting choices. They tried to make, you know, like the twins, like the Shining Twins, and just some of the other scenes just could have been so much cooler, but they just weren't. But the entire third act is completely just... It surprised me so much at how far they go into this thing. I mean, you have got to see this movie to believe it. If this is Robert Eggers' like directorial debut, I mean, he he has a sick mind, and I can't wait to see more from him. So, without further ado, I'm going to give The Witch an A minus. I've been giving out a lot of A minuses lately. I mean, a Hardcore Henry getting A minus to The Jungle Book, and now The Witch. It is so nice to get just a nice streak of good movies. Because I, last year, I made some terrible decisions of what movies I saw in theaters. So I'm happy that I'm on a good streak.